Hi folks, Dustin Neat here, RVSalesOfOregon.com. Thanks for stopping in to take a look at this really nice 99, it's a 31 RL model, rear lounge, Rio Grande uh, by New Way, the same uh, company that builds the Hitchhiker fifth wheels. Super insulated, uh, all seasons fifth wheel, you know, it's going to have the great R values, sidewalls, roof, uh, floor, enclosed underbelly. All of those things that you would need for an all seasons fifth wheel RV. Um, solid fiberglass all the way around. This is a fresh trade in, by the way, uh, that some folks had for a while and they decided to upgrade to a different uh, kind of RV. This one's actually got, uh, it's a full basement model all the way through, pass through storage. It's got two batteries up in the front there, and then I'll show you where we got more batteries uh, in the back because this does have uh, solar as well. So that means for you when you're dry camping, you've got power uh, if, w without shore power. You're, you're going to have power, it keeps your batteries lit up, and it's going to give you that, that continual trickle charge on your batteries, uh, constant power. So great storage with the, the pass-through basement on a 31-foot model. A lot of times you got to go bigger than this to get the full basement, but um, you know, 34, 36, and, and larger. But 31-foot with this kind of basement is, is absolutely phenomenal. There's your two extra batteries. We've got it in the shop here just doing our normal inspection that comes included with all of our sales. So we go through them very extensively, uh, more than your, your typical inspection. And uh, we'll, we'll show you the things that we find uh, wrong with it, the things that we fix. And then uh, we'll also show you how to operate everything. But yeah, you've got four batteries total in this fifth wheel. And it comes out on a sliding tray, which is nice. Um, then you've got access right here to your hydraulics for your slides, which is nice. Just easy access um, to fill up your reservoir for the hydraulic fluid. Uh, and then if there were ever any issues with that, it's easy access. Uh, great big windows here with the slide. Of course, you got the bedroom slide and then the living slide, but it's the full slide. It's the super slide is what they would call it. Big windows all the way around on both sides, the end caps. And then as you make your way back around here, I love the rear cap of this fifth wheel. Um, it's kind of got that radius look to it with the back lounge windows. You got a ladder to access that roof. It's full walk-on. Got a real thick roof up there. So um, big thick roof trusses. Because it's built, New Way didn't mess around when they're building fifth wheels. Uh, it's, it's one of your upper echelon fifth wheels, uh, fifth wheel makers. You're coming around here to the patio side. So you've got the anti-glare windows. That's kind of a nice feature of the upgrade. Um, and you've got storage down here as well. But yeah, full, full radius windows all the way around the back cap. And great storage uh, along both sides, actually. So your two storage compartments over there pass through, and you've got more storage up in the front. One thing I do notice is it's got newer tires. Um, it's got the larger uh, eight lugs. The bigger wheels, bigger tires, and the tread is actually really good on these. So we'll go on inside here and take a look at the floor plan. It's nice how they did uh, the day-night shades in here. They got the dual mode day-night shades. So for privacy, for day, for night, and you know, for the hot sun, for the glare. And if you want to open them all the way up, you've got real nice panoramic view to put a lounge chair in the back you've got room if you want to do two I came in with just the one but you could do two lounge chairs you could put a sofa back here you could pretty much do whatever you wanted to do high ceiling ducted air front to back the sofa here is actually a hide -a bed so you got the hide -a bed sofa flush floor slide that's a nice uh, bonus there so you don't trip uh, when you're going to the couch or to the dinette in and out of your chairs there. Um, but yeah, you got the, the table extension. The table and chairs is kind of a nice feature instead of the booth. Uh, nice, nice kitchen, good countertop, good storage. And it's got the gas electric hot water heater, I noticed. There's a switch here, so you've got longer, hotter water, um, longer period of time. Great big storage. And again, uh, new way. Uh, built this so it's, it's it's like your hitchhiker um and it's built out of chanute kansas but yeah it's a, it's a great uh great rig 
Lots of storage. It's got the hall, the solid hardwood cabinets all the way throughout. And uh, the way they put them together, they uh, screw them together. And you've got the, the drawers here that pull out. Great kitchen, three burner, sealed stove top with an oven, microwave. Test your, uh, your monitor panel for your, for your water, your black and your gray and your batteries, everything's right here. And you got your two-door refrigerator here, gas and electric, so that's nice. Lots of uh, storage for when you're going to go on your trips, whether they're short, middle of the road, or long hauls, you can do it all. Flat screen TV upgrade in here. It's got the stereo system in here as well. And uh, you've got the air conditioning, everything right here. It does actually have, you got a furnace and a heat pump. This has a heat pump mode and the roof air. So you've got two different sources of heat from the roof cap down, it'll blow hot air down, and then you got your furnace, it'll blow hot air up. So you got best of both worlds, whether you're plugged in or if you're gonna be uh, burning propane, either way, you'll get heat. And you got the nice uh, sliding um, pantry. So that's good for spice rack and things like that. Um, yeah, you, you even got a little garbage can slider right here. That's nice. Central vacuum, too, down here. So that it goes down in the basement. You can just sweep, you know, and, and clean it up right here. You don't, have to, you don't have to put it in a dustpan and put it in a garbage can. You can just do it all right here. So central vac, just like you'd have in a home. Pretty nice. Lots of, lots of room up here. This is my favorite feature, the bedroom area. This shower is phenomenal. You got the, the garden wraparound shower. I'm 6'3". You know, still lots of room to sit down, do what you need to do. You know, <clears throat> got a grab handle to get up. But the low sump entry in and out of the shower, that's great. If you got knee replacements or just stiff joints, whatever's, whatever's going on, instead of being way up here like the average, you're way down there. It's just a lot easier to get in and out of. You've got a privacy curtain that'll cover this. And then the split bath commode across the hall. That's nice so you can utilize the bathroom. Kind of two people at the same time. It's nice how they did that. Uh, and a china bowl also, so it's porcelain toilet instead of plastic. It's just going to be more durable. Nice uh, counter space for your sink. Do everything you need to do. A little medicine cabinet. Drawers, storage down below. Three drawers here. Lots of closet. You know, area to put your things in a clothes hamper. That's nice. Can't really beat that. 31 footer. Got the queen bed. Closet here. Lots of closet actually in this closet on this side and then up at the top past your his and hers or maybe just all hers drawers you've got on both sides TV connection switches for your lights day night shade there for the big window speakers full closet both sides Pretty nice how they did utilization of space in this fifth wheel. It's great. Tough to beat this. And for whoever ends up getting this, what a bargain. They don't build them like this anymore. This even has a fantastic fan up here in the bedroom. For you that means just press a little button <clears throat> and that'll take hot air out. You can reverse it and bring cool air in. So. It's just nice for, depending on your climate, you've got uh, dual mode up in the bedroom, as well as back here in the living area, you've got the same fan. It also is automatic and has a rain sensor, so that means that the lid will close if it decides to rain, which it does often in Oregon, depending on where you're going to be at. A ceiling fan up there. Um, but like I said, we're currently going through this fifth wheel right now, getting it up to speed you know um, you know go through all the systems major components show you how to work everything that everything is in working order as part of our guarantee uh, that everything is gonna be working order before you take delivery everything functioning show you how to work everything 
uh, put you through new owner school to do that. We'll go through and shampoo all the carpets, clean it up. It'll be a good looking fifth wheel. I'll tell you what, you put this up against any 2017 uh, in that in that age range <clears throat> for a fifth wheel this day and age, it's gonna it's gonna uh, be near the top as far as quality. They just don't build them like this anymore. Um, but again, if you'd like any more information, contact me, Dustin Neat here, rbsalesoforgan.com. You can pick up the phone, you can drop me an email. Um, it's got my cell phone on there. You can shoot me a text or whatever works best for you. And I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again.